one of the things that you're going to realize when you start using Windows 10 is that there is no DVD player included into the operating system. Now, while you can purchase DVD players or software for playback of DVDs, they're not that expensive anymore, but it's an extra cost that some people may not want to incur. In this case, you do have a couple of alternatives. Uh, in this video, I'll show you one particular alternative that you can get for free. Everybody loves free. Let's take a look at that now. Using your favorite browser, open up the following website, www.videoland.org. Here you see the available download for VLC player. Now this is a very commonly used uh, player and it's one of the ones that you really want to be using on your system because it allows you to play not just DVDs but also other types of videos that you're going to find on the internet. And it has a wide range of formats that you can play back on your system. Now once on this website here, you'll see that there's a drop down and this is available across Windows, uh, iPhones, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Windows phones, Mac OS X, Linux, Android, and iOS. In my case, I have a Windows system here, uh, Windows 10 specifically. So I'm gonna click on Windows if it isn't already selected. And as you can see, it's already going to the download page. From here, it only takes a few minutes for it to download depending on your internet connection. And to save on video recording uh, time, uh, I've actually already downloaded it. As you can see here, it's actually tried to download another extra copy. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. As you can see, I have the download here. Uh, now, if you're using another browser, you may not see this bar towards the bottom. Uh, and if you have your browser set to the its default for download locations, uh, you're going to want to open up just File Explorer and go to Downloads. And again, this is using the default on, on your browser. So from here, you all, all you want to do is just double click on it. Since I have UAC enabled on my machine, in this case, user account control, this question will come up asking you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. Click on yes. And from here, it's just a simple matter of selecting OK for my language that I want to use. As you can see, there's multiple languages that you can choose from. In my case, I'll stick with English. Here, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. And again, this is the license agreement. Uh, read through it if you get a chance. Click on next. And I'm going to be leaving it at its default installation. As you can see, there's multiple things that you can choose from. If you're doing something particular uh, with this particular application, uh, you can go through the options of, as, you, as you hover over every option, you're gonna be presented with a description here towards the bottom. As you can see, Mozilla uh, plugin. It tells you exactly what's going on. Same thing with the ActiveX uh, or any of these other options here. In my case, I'm just going to click on Next. I'm going to accept its default destination folder for the install. And then from here, it's just a simple of a uh, matter of clicking Install. And there you go. VS VLC Media Player is installed. I'm going to go ahead and leave the check box, check box marked. Click on Finish. And then since I don't need this other uh, applications running, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, close here. I'm going to also going to click my uh, browser off or turn it off. And VLC is asking me a couple of questions. Uh, I, uh, allow metadata network access and regularly check for VLC updates. I'm going to accept those and just click continue. Now from here, I'm going to go open up in File Explorer just one more time very quickly so I can show you. I've already loaded a DVD play, uh, movie, and in this case it's a Disney movie that I had um, on hand. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Media, and here I'm going to click on Open Disk. As you can see, there's multiple selections available here. Now, it's not just DVD, but also Blu-ray. Uh, I have not tested the Blu-ray option since I don't have a Blu-ray uh, Blu disc with me, but I have tested the DVD um, play, playback. From here, all you, you're really going to all you're really going to do is click on browse and you're going to go to this, this PC 
And really, you're just selecting the DVD uh, drive that has the DVD loaded into it. In this case, I just say select folder, and I say play. And as you can see here, it's playing back the DVD intro movie, uh, menu for this DVD that I loaded. And as you can see, it's pretty much working now. I'm going to go ahead and close that and exit out of the application. And as you can see, it's just a quick download for free, quick installation, and you can go uh, be on your way and playing DVDs on your Windows 10 machine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Now that you've discovered my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.